Alright, good afternoon. It is still Monday. Um, so this is the afternoon stream. And what I was working on this morning was getting um, Android Native Module for React Native to um, not block the UI thread. And so my frustration when I was working with it on a separate project off stream was that from the uh, native module React Native Docs, it's not clear that the, or I guess it wasn't clear to me, maybe it was clear to other people, but it wasn't clear to me that, um, it wasn't clear to me that <clears throat> React Native would block the UI thread. Um, when using a native Android module. So it does that. Um, so I had to figure out how to run the code in a different thread, which is what I was working on this morning. I had a way of doing it um, using async task, which is um, you know an Android, um, Android library, but I guess that got deprecated in place of the standard Java concurrency library. Um, so I was spending this morning figuring all that out and I got it to work. Um, so yeah, now I think what I'm going to do is actually document, um, document how to do it, um, which is not going to be, um, this isn't going to be a, uh, super technical programming stream. Uh, this is just going to be me creating a blog post that I'm going to post on my uh, GitHub blog. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what I was going to work on this afternoon. I still, so um, I still want to create a password manager and I'll, I'll get to it at some point. Um, I don't know. I just, I found it. I haven't been quite motivated yet to, dig into that stuff um and i thought like like i needed to figure out this this blocking problem so so that was fine you know i, I was fine working on that um uh, but at some point i will get back into creating a password manager um and i i want to take it like i want to get it to a point where i can actually upload it to the app store um or at least the google play store the app store i guess both um and for that um for that well to do the app store i'm going to have to get a mac to to build the to build the uh, ios version of it um and maybe i'll stream that like i am i i i am planning to do that um and maybe there's a way i can i might stream the like getting it all to work in ios because that's going to be because i'm going to use so so i'm using a uh, I'm building a Go library that I'm building with the Go mobile tool. Um, and so uh, right now it's all being built for the Android emulator I'm running, and that obviously won't work for iOS. So at some point I'm going to have to rebuild it and get it working for um, iOS. Maybe I'll stream that. I might stream that if I can get the Mac if I can get my, I mean, I have to add my capture card to the Mac. I, I don't know. We'll see. I, I guess I get another capture card. Um, oh, no, what I would do is probably get another KVM switch. That's what I would probably do. Okay. Anyway, that's still, that's still probably, that's not going to happen until the new year. I don't think. Um, yeah, probably be the new year. So, yeah. So right now I'm just going to write this blog post. Um, and so I guess what I want to start with is the React Native docs because it's not clear that this is, let's see if I can do something. Um, hmm. 
Where would this go? Posts. Yeah, so my, I mean, the site right now is just tylertravesty.github.io. I mean, this is, I only have one, one article up there right now. Um, and so, what is he about? Oh, yeah. Um, so I need to create a new post. Yeah, okay. Let me... Open here. No. Open that. Okay, and then terminal, new terminal right here. Get status, perfect. Okay, so I should just be able to create a new post. And how does this work? Loading images. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll just. Yeah, okay, so this is what I'm working on now. Uh, so this is my other, this is my other blog post. Um, I guess I should make sure there's nothing in here. Nope. Blog. Okay, cool. Sweet. Okay, yeah, so I should just be able to create a new one. Uh, it's 2022. What's today? December 5th. Which is all, it's funny, it's almost the opposite of May 11th. Whoa. Rename. 12.05. And then, <clears throat> let's see. Um... What do I want to call this? Like, let's see, building a non blocking loading images, building a non blocking non blocking native Android module. Or React. Native dot markdown. I might end up changing that. Okay. Um, so we'll get this here. Layout posts. Um, what's the title? Non blocking native android module or and then react native right so all this can go away i've already figured all this stuff out oh i did want i don't know if i'm gonna need all that stuff uh how do they say react native so it's two words okay All right, non-blocking native Android module. So there's React Native and then there's native, Android native modules. Okay, let's call it that. Non-blocking. No. Building an Android native module for React Native. Yeah, that's what I'm on. That's what I'll call it. Building a non-blocking. Building a non-blocking 
Android native module for React Native. Okay. Rename. Building a non blocking. Android native module for React Native. Let's see, building a non blocking Android native, building a non blocking Android native module for React Native. Okay, that's a pretty descriptive title. Cool. And then, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, So I do have, let's see, docs. Apparently I can just do docs. Why is this? Huh. I don't know why that. Oh, I know. I know why. Okay. Because this is the link. All right. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. So, how do I want to start this? Um, so, um, Let's see, React Native allows developers to what? It allows developers to build and utilize native iOS and Android modules. Um, there has to be a way of describing this, um, to call, that's what's, that's a better word, to call and call native, uh, from the front end, from the front end, JavaScript code. Okay, um, and then how do I do it? Yeah, the native module docs, <clears throat> let's see, the native module docs, um, Oh, actually what I want is intro. Yeah. Native Native Box, let's see, provide, provide a guide, um, provide a basic guide for, for, um, creating Native Module Docs, the React Native. Android native I'll provide a basic guide for creating a what? Um, module that can be can be utilized. React native Android oh whoops. The React Native Android, React Native Android Native Module Docs provide a basic guide for creating a module that can be utilized 
Um, that can be, oh, um, let's see, actually, no, what I want is, um, show how a developer can quickly implement a native Android module for React Native. Yeah. Um, however, what I want to say, however, let's see, the guide. Um, let's see. Show. Yeah. Yeah, we'll call it a guide. Guide, new module guide shows. Shows how to learn quickly implement. However, the guide um, does not specifically Does not include does not include what? Does not conclude does not what? I don't want to write this. Um React Native Android Network shows how developer can quickly implement a native Android module for Native. However, the guide does not does not what? Um does not explicitly show how to um prevent the native module from blocking the main thread and preventing the UI from freezing. <clears throat> Let's see what I want to say. Let's see. Let's see. I don't want to say in fact, that's not very clear. Um, It's not show to prevent the native module from blocking the main thread. Uh, let's see. However, the guide does not explicitly show how to prevent the native module from blocking the main thread, which, which results. I don't like that. Thread, which is utilized by the. By the main thread utilized by the UI. As a result of the native module blocking the main thread, the UI um, does not render appropriately. The expected the expected rendering order for UI does not render as expected. Let's do that. A one punch. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Uh, antivirus software. I mean, there are there are open source antivirus softwares, and and really, it's not the the software itself. I don't think is that difficult. It's the um um it's the signatures. It's like the constant updates with the signatures that are um, that are the tricky part. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know whether making a virus that removes viruses, although a lot of malware will, uh, will, uh, um, uh, patch the computer it infects so that other malware can infect it, which is funny. Um, thanks for the follow, by the way. I appreciate it. Um, but I would, I would be very careful about calling it a virus, uh, and I certainly wouldn't uh, 
certainly release it to uh on anybody who on anybody's computers that doesn't uh um that doesn't consent to it that's how you get in trouble i'm not a lawyer so talk to a lawyer but um whenever you get into dealing with like building building malware for anything other than testing and research and start start hitting gray areas <laughs> um as a result of native module blocking the main thread the ui does not render as expected um let's see how do i do this all right so um I'll do this on a different screen. Let's see. Um, started. Cool. Okay. Now let's see, how long does it take for this thing to update? I think it takes a minute to update. I just pushed it to GitHub, so. So you're not actually the first person to say that. Of number of people have said I look like Toby Maguire, which is funny. Um, I, and I, I would put him as my second favorite Spider-Man. I, I really like the Andrew Garfield uh, Spider-Man movies, although I didn't particularly like the endings or that he never got a follow-up movie. Like they kind of cut it short for all the MCU stuff. Um, yeah, there it is. Look at that. Cool. Okay, so this works. Awesome. May 11th. Well, that's definitely not the date. But yes, other people have told me I look like Tobey Maguire, so you're not alone. Oh, I just didn't update the date. Um, well, 05. Um, what just happened? Oh, I hit Q. Whoops. There it goes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think those are the best ones. Like, I mean, the MCU movies... I mean, they're in the MCU, so they're not going to be the standalone Spider-Man movies. And I, I don't know, I just got tired of the MCU after a while. Um... Like I watched everything up through the Infinity, Infinity Stone saga, um, and I just couldn't watch anymore. Like it's just too much, too much. Let's see, did that update this? Oh, whoops! I gotta. Oh, well, that's not going to, this link should die, but. Hmm. But I liked Andrew Garfield, like one of my, I guess, favorite movies is The Social Network, and I like Andrew Garfield in The Social Network, so. Whatever. This will update at some point. All right. Let me go back to here. Um, bum, 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 bum. So it is not really expected. Um, what happens? Um, the UI 
we'll call the UI, let's see. UI calls the native module, which is expected to, UI calls the native, let's see, which, which blocks the main thread. The UI call which blocks the main thread and any potential rendering that may that may that should happen while the native module is running. What do I want to say? For example, um, let's see. Maybe I'll do this as an example. All right, for let's see. For example, developer wants to add a spinning wheel to indicate something is happening. For example, if developer wants to add a spinning wheel to indicate something is happening while the native module runs, um, the expected the code the let's see the the let's see what the obvious not the obvious the code might look like this um no for example Okay, now I need a code block. <clears throat> uh, it's just the commas, right? Okay. Not the commas, the ticks. Uh, ticks. Yeah. Um, how do I want to do this? Well, I'll, I'll I'll come back to it in a sec, but I'll start here. Um, and I'm gonna copy the code I was using earlier. Um, let's see, const. You state false uh, cost on press uh, set loading true um, my module dot long. Be like long call um, what do I want to say this um, let's call it long call for now dot dot then response Uh, do something with response and then dot then is that loading false yeah that's an easy one and return Text. Yeah, see, this is gonna. Hmm. I might actually create a GitHub repo that has everything in it. Um. Oh. 
because I'm not going to have all the code in this. Loading. Activity indicator. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, okay, I think that's good enough. The code might look like, and I, I kind of want a front end and back end. So there's this, this is the front end. My module dot. What do they call them? Custom native module file, module name, method. Um, method. And then what does this look like? Public class, my module. I should just copy and paste this. Yep, I am. And what? Yes, my module. Yeah. Context, context. Override public stream get name. Return my module. And then React method, public, void, long method. All right, what do I have? Oh, I'm gonna, I know what I'm gonna do. Try, what is it gonna be? Thread dot C. Um, let's see, like, 3,000, yeah. Catch. Interrupted. Exception E. And then promise to resolve what? Uh, finished. Let's see if Catch, um, subject, error while sleeping. All right, say exception. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah. So that I think is the, yes, that's the standard one. Um, how do I do markdown? Markdown code block. Did this update finally? It did. Awesome. December 5th, 2022. Perfect. Um, basic syntax markdown. Oh my goodness. Okay. Loading images. Hmm. I want kind of like a.
Um, let's see. Markdown, code block, header. That's what I want. Don't think I'm going to get this, am I? Use syntax highlighting for Haskell. HS, point freestyle, explicit. Hmm. This, this is what I want right here. I want this right here. Here's a heading. Mark how I don't agree on how to handle missing space between the number signs. I want like this little table. I guess I would put a table. Maybe I do a table. Block quotes, Dorothy, this your output looks like. Create a block quote, add a blank. No, nested block quotes, no block quotes with other elements. Lists, markdown, HTML, rendered item. Ordered lists, nope, starting unordered, nope, unordered. Paragraphs, block quotes, code blocks. Yeah, see, I want this gray area with a header. Horizontal rules. The rendered output, all three, looks identical. Do this. Interesting links, titles, oh, I already got titles, formatting links. Mm. Markdown table. Heading IDs. I mean, that's what I want. I want a table that looks like that. I don't think I'm going to get one. Markdown, what is it? Markdown code block. Header. That's what I want. Code block inside tape. No. Oh. Get markdown docs says that you can include inline span markdown tags within table cells. code yeah that's not oh here we go free code hmm. no i really just want this but i don't think i'm gonna get it 
Alright, so I will do this. Um, app.js Let's do something like that. App.js And what is this going to be? This is going to be my module, my module.java. I think that's how it works. Um, can I run this? Let's see. Open. Um, there. Oh, go to preview. That's what I want. Open preview. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. What if I don't make them? <clears throat> yeah oh, okay i'll just do this that's fine um let's see so in this example the developer would expect let's see the developer would expect the spinner to appear for three seconds and then disappear however the real um The real behavior is that the real behavior what is what do I want to say? What am I trying to say? Uh, the real behavior. So in this thing, I'll really expect Expect the spinner to appear for three seconds and then disappear. However, um, the native module hijacks the main thread and prevents the UI from rendering the <clears throat> rendering the spinner. Let's see, when the native module is done. Then the UI renders. There for a second before. For the I need a coding example. How do I do it in this? Before the loading is set back 
to plus Okay, so what do I want to say? Oh, I should be able to. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. How do I want to write this? Um, in order, so. So let's see. The reason for this behavior is explained in the guide. Native module guide. All right, now I want to block quote. Block quotes. Surely there's a way to. Okay, whatever. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. Let's go to the end. Threading. To date on Android. I wonder if I can add. Will this let me add? Ready. Let's add it to the block quote. No, it doesn't. What if I want to block quote with the heading? Oh, four. Gotta have four of them. One, two, three, four. Okay. Threading. Um, get rid of, let's see that. I don't want that. Threading, okay. All right, so the reason for this should be explained at the end of the native module guide. So, <clears throat> um, What do I want to say? Um, let's see. So what do I want to add here? Let's see. So. Uh, blah, blah, blah. To prevent the native module from blocking the main thread. Um, the developer should use the concurrency. Prevent the developer should use the concurrency um, uh, 
If you're the name of the name, developer. Let's wrap. Let's wrap the. Let's wrap the code. Let's wrap the native module method. How do I want to say this? In Let's see, must wrap the native module method. In a runnable class, I don't like this, but. Import technically, I just need to use what the executor service. It's not for sure. Let's add the import statement. And then you know what I forgot? Let's do this. I'm actually going to do this. String time as I'm going to add this here. Yeah. Red dot sleep time Thomas dot dissolved. That's fine. All right. Public void long method. Actually, I'm just going to copy it up from it here. Private class my thread implements runnable. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. And this I'm just gonna copy straight from my code. Because there's no reason to what? Okay, perfect. Private class my thread implements runnable. 
Promise, new promise. Thread dot sleep. Yeah, we're gonna do. Stop promise. And yep, I already have that, have that, perfect. And this is what I need. method in a runnable class execute it using the executor service there we go all right And it's going to be my module.java. Perfect. I don't like that. What I'm going to do is. There we go. Yep, that looks better. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is good. Okay. Let's see. And now I have um, this produces the expected behavior. This produces the expected behavior of spinner appearing for three seconds and then disappearing once the native method is done is done let's see the example used thread dot sleep to what use thread dot sleep to da, 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 da. Mimic a long operation. The example used to sleep to mimic a long, but but any code, but it can be replaced. With. Be replaced with, but it can be replaced with any code. All right.
is my module of job. Replace what? Replace bed asleep with decode. Cool. I wonder if I should just do it. In the block. No, I don't. Oh, I wonder if I can do Did that work. No. Um. What's a better way? I mean, the other way is just to treat it like a block quote. I just have it show up like that. But I'd like it to be inside. Yeah. All right. I think All right. I'm going to post this and see how it looks. Oh, whoops. Okay, there it goes. Oh, it'll have the title up. Okay, good. All right, it'll take a minute for this to load. Um, yeah, so that was a, I guess I could change the code. Mm, am I gonna upload the code? I guess I should. I guess I really should. Um, I just don't want to add, maybe I could just add the full files like maybe i'll just copy and paste this i think that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to copy and paste the app.java and yeah app.js go uh, and then my module i think that's what i'm going to do sweet my module yep yeah, that's good threading my module.java, my module.java. I 
React Native Android Native Module Guide shows how a developer can quickly implement a native Android module for React Native. However, the guide does not explicitly show how to prevent the native module from blocking the main thread utilized by the UI. As a result of the native module blocking the main thread, the UI does not render as expected. The UI calls the native module, which blocks the main thread, any potential rendering that should happen while the native module is running. For example, if a developer wants to add a spinning wheel to indicate something's happening while the native module runs, the code might look like, and then it gives the code. In this example, the developer would expect the spinner to appear for three seconds and then disappear. Yeah. However, the native module hijacks the main thread and prevents UI from rendering the spinner. When the native module is done running, then the UI renders the spinner for an instant before the loading variable is set back to false and the spinner disappears. And the spinner disappears. Perfect. The reason for this behavior is explained at the end of the Android Native Module Guide. Threading, blah. To prevent the native module from blocking the main UI thread, the developer must wrap the native module method in a runnable class and execute it, use, execute it using. This is why you proofread using the executor service. Um, this produces the expected behavior of the spinner appearing for three seconds and disappearing once the new model method is done. The example you used so it doesn't mean longer, but it can be replaced with any code. Um, so how would I want to do this? Um, let's see. Here are the complete app.js hmm. app.js and my module.java files .js okay so now what i want to do is actually get these working recycler view back scroll view component. What is this? Like, why do I even have this? I don't know. Um, I call it go module. Oh, no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create a whole new one. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create one from scratch. Yeah. Uh, CD dev. React Native local type um, MPX React Native and it. How do I do that? React Native create project. React Native Android blah 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 blah. Where's the? Okay, so it is right. In it. Um, Native module Android native module example. It's going to take a little bit. Uh, what? There it goes. Okay, cool. File, new window. Open folder. Dev, React Native, local. Local, Android Native Model, example, open. Um... Where are we? App.js. Okay, this is all going to go away. Uh, control should be. Why? No. Oops. Actually, does that work? X. Um, okay. 
Uh, control A. Let's see, control, control. Mm. There it is. All right, don't need that. Uh, React navigation, I'm gonna call it my module. Native modules, that's fine. Don't need that. Um, I guess we'll just do it here. Yeah, no reason to not. We'll just call it an app. Yeah, no, that's right. Um, on press set load my module long long method. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. Okay, click to invoke your native module. Yep, loading activity indicator large black style loading. This is what I don't need. Export, don't need home or unlock. Or any of this. I do want the styles. Let's do app. View styles. App. Stack, don't need, navigation, don't need. Okay, yeah, that's a lot. That is much, much uh, cleaner. Okay, and then Android app source main Java, here we go. All right, now I need to add all this stuff in there. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I need my module, so I need to create my module.java go module. Okay. I don't know what all this is for. Um, this is not my app's name. My app's name is Android Native Module Example. Android Native Module Example. Okay, and then I need my module. I guess I should probably just do the... Um, Runnable and executor. Yeah, executors and executor service. All right, that works. Get name is called my module. Don't need any of this. Stack my thread, runnable task, time s, promise, perfect, and time. My thread integer parse me promise that's all good sleep this dot promise dot resolve what did I put in the code finish sleeping yeah Cool. Okay. That's pretty good. Where am I now? Um, I did want to change one thing though. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to fix all the code. 
<clears throat> but what did I change? Finish sleeping, except oh no, the the front end code. Well, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to change that anyway. Yeah, I'll have to change it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so this should all work. Um, that's still running. I need to close that. That goes away. That goes away. Okay. Um, I'll leave that there. The uh, React Native Local Angular. Perfect. All right. MPX. What is it? React Native Start. Yeah, React Native run Android. Awesome. It's going to take a minute to build. Really, I'm just doing this just to... Um, oh, this is not going to build because I haven't, I forgot something, my app package. I forgot my app package to Java. Whoops. All right, modules, modules.add. My modules, and then yeah. Here, native module example. All right, and then I needed to add main activity. Yes, main activity. No, main application is where I needed to add this. My new my package. Okay, now it'll build. Wherever I left it. Now it should build. Well, I may have missed another step along the way. No point missing something. Um, go module. Okay, I messed something. My app package. My module. Where is, what file was that in? My module.java. Oh, whoops. That's what I get for copying and pasting. All right, let's try that. Still broken. What broke this time? Concurrent class runnable. Okay, so where is runnable? Okay, so this is why I did this. Concurrent runnable implements runnable. I mean, it's in concurrent because I start everything. Um, let's see. Android Java Util concurrent runnable. Where is this?
Yeah, but I want the import statements. One of these has the import statements. This one, I think, has the import statements. Here it goes. Implements runnable. Yeah, but I, what? I want the import statements. See, this is why I'm doing this, because this isn't clear where the runnable class is. Engine import. Import runnable. How do you use runnable? Import. <clears throat> Yeah, runnable. Where is that? <coughs> Boy. <coughs> maybe I don't, maybe it's just not. Maybe it's not anything. <laughs> oh. Okay, I guess I just didn't need it. <clears throat> I just needed the executors and the executor service. <clears throat> oh my goodness. All right, sweet. And, <clears throat> and this should work. Undefined is not a function. My module dot long method. <clears throat> huh. Uh, my module dot long method. Did I misspell it? Oh, whoops. Again, this is what I get for. This is what I get for <clears throat> copy and pasting code. Oh, I need to reload it. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. It's just taking forever. There it goes. Ha, look at that. I don't know why. <clears throat> I don't know why the button didn't get. Yeah, I don't know why the button didn't get, get. It really doesn't matter. Okay. Um <clears throat> that's fine. Um Okay, so this works. Like this should have 
been blacked out too, but whatever. Um, this is what I want. So I'm just going to copy. Okay, so it's this that I need. So I need to fix a couple things. So this I want to fix in my... <clears throat> yeah, right here. Okay. Okay, so app.js. Oh, and then I want to finish the app.js is, yeah, that's something I want to do. There we go. All right. So now const app loading, update false on loading. Um, I think what I'm going to do is run <clears throat> okay that's fine style style can go away Click to invoke the module and press loading and then style, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> that's fine. Now what I want is I want to actually copy the entire code. Let's see. All the way at the bottom. So app.js, one, two, three, two, three. <clears throat> yep. And what's the other thing? Um, my module dot Java. <clears throat> my module dot Java. Okay, that should work. <clears throat> okay, so I have them both. Whoa, after a long pause. No, 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 no. I thought I changed that. I did, and then I recopied it back. after long method. <clears throat> Maybe I only changed it here. After long method, yeah, okay. Okay. 
Cool. Now I can let's see where was I? Yep, okay, so get add get commit. Um, <clears throat> final draft. Cool. Okay. So that should be it. Um, and let's see. This should update. I think it takes, <clears throat> it takes a few minutes to update. And... Once it done, so that will be it. And I'll probably post this. I will uh, probably add this to Reddit or something. Like, go post it on React Native Reddit or something. Yeah, I might post it here somewhere. I also want to do... I guess I should also do <clears throat> an article about building a um native like a, a go go library and and calling that because that took me a little bit to figure out too so maybe i'll do that next time or whenever i get around to it <clears throat> like maybe yeah I'll, I'll probably i'll probably add that at some point my this is not there we go Sweet. Okay. I mean, I think that'll be, that's all I'm going to do today. Again, I just wanted to get this documented because it took me, um, it took me a long time. Um, I was basically working on this all day Saturday for my other project. And so it took me way longer than it should have, especially since like I would have expected all of that, <clears throat> something like that to be included in this section. Like, like I would think like in this section, instead of just saying this, like, like, oh, hey, or, or at least put in here, like use async calls or use, you know, use different threads or like some, just some hint or note about how to do it or what, like that it could, that someone might, ex the developer could expect to see this behavior that <clears throat> the, um, that the native module thread that the native module will hijack the main thread from the ui um effectively freezing the ui so um yeah i'm happy with that i'm happy with how this came out um didn't take long it took me about an hour and a half to write that out um and just so you just go through guide yeah guide some code stuff it does sleep Yep. Cool. All right. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Socials are Tyler Travesty on uh, Twitch, Twitter, uh, GitHub, and YouTube. Um, if you can't watch my streams live, you can always, I upload them to YouTube, so you can always watch them there later. Feel free to um, add any comments or questions to any of the socials. I always enjoy the support and i'm happy to answer any questions that you have um uh, it's monday so i will be back streaming on wednesday um should have morning and afternoon streams on wednesday and i will maybe start working on actual password manager stuff on wednesday i'll see how i feel um but yeah uh you can always if you want if you're interested in looking at this post uh, you can go to tylertravesty.github.io, which is where, um, which is where this blog is. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.